Mike Evans, please. Mr. Dowd, and if it wasn't intimidating enough to be with the great and good on the online harms bill, trying to put it all into three minutes is even more of a challenge. But I will be brief because I've come to this through body image, and that's why I've learned what I have when it comes to this area. And I simply ask for two things because in his opening speech, the member for East Hampshire said this is about frameworks. And I have two suggestions that I think would make a huge difference when it comes to future-proofing the legislation and providing that framework. The first is to build on the fantastic work by the member of Stroud. We're talking about having authentic, case, uh, uh, authentic and anonymous and non-anonymous accounts. Allowing people, the end user, to have that choice if they want to go into the Wild West is really fundamentally important. But now the technology exists through the Content Authenticity Initiative signed up by 800 companies across the world to have an open standard transparency of how those images are taken from the camera to how they're put in place. We have a framework there that runs across the world that means you'd be able to make the same choice about images as you would with accounts. If we future-proof that in the legislation, we simply allow the user to choose that tool to be switched on to see images that we know are verified on an open source. This isn't by someone making a decision. Simply understanding where it comes from, how it got there, how it's been made and who's passed it on. That to me is incredibly powerful and an incredibly simple way of creating that framework that is protective. And that leads me on to the second point and possibly even more important point that was raised by the member for Gosport. Algorithms are king when it comes to social media. Now, to try and control those algorithms is very, very difficult, but someone should be responsible. In schools, we have senior leadership, as uh, we have um, safeguarding leads when it comes to dealing with people who are vulnerable. We have financial named people when it comes to dealing with councils. Why on earth do we not have a named person legally responsible for the algorithm in a company? We have it with GDPR. The reason being is anyone in, this uh, anyone in this debate, anyone in the police force, anyone in Ofcom, anyone in the public could go to that person and say, why is your algorithm behaving the way it is? Because every time I've tried to do this, I'm told it's commercially sensitive, there's a team somewhere else around the world to be able to deal with it. And I know there are powers in Ofcom that deal with it, but it's on a one-off notice when it's requested. I simply think if we state there should be a named person responsible for that algorithm legally, that will change behaviours because your head is on the chopping block if you get it wrong. This is about responsibility. This is what that bill provides, and that's why I advocate for these two points. Thank you.